Hi, this is Tommy's Piano Corner and I'm Tommy. Today's video is a short introduction to Tommy's Piano Corner and I'll tell you also a little bit about myself and what you can expect to get by subscribing to my channel. Stick around to the end and I'll play for you one of my favourite Chopin waltzes. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. So before I tell you more about the channel, let me introduce you a little bit to myself. I'm British, as you can probably hear from my accent. I was born and raised in Manchester. And about three years ago, I decided after a break of some 25 years that I was going to start to relearn the piano. I first started to learn when I was around 10 years old. Prior to that, we didn't have a piano at home. I didn't really know anybody who could teach me how to play either. When I was around 10 though, we did get a piano at home and I was determined to try and learn, so I kept just basically trying to teach myself how to play. Eventually my mum just said, look, you either take proper lessons or you stop altogether. So that was it, proper lessons it was. And I started taking lessons with our local piano teacher, Mrs Dunn. If you'd like to know more about me, please do visit my blog, also called Tommy's Piano Corner, where I give a much more comprehensive write-up about my early years and what I learned, how long I learned for, and eventually why I stopped playing the piano. But for this video, and to avoid too much of my talking head, let's fast forward to my grade eight. My grade eight exam I took with a new teacher, and this was the first time, in fact, that I got a pass in an exam as opposed to a distinction, all of my other grades I had done really, really well at. I found that at grade eight, I'd, I'd hit a technical wall. I was needing to play repertoire that I couldn't master, and I didn't know how to get through it. My teacher didn't know how to get me through it, and after a while, I just stopped taking lessons. I continued to play for a couple of years, I think, especially when I was at university, as it was a useful way of earning some occasional extra money. But by the time I was, I, I think, about 25, I stopped pretty much completely. Fast forward in 20 years or so, I finally decided to treat myself to a Yamaha clavin over. When I first bought it, I have to admit, I didn't actually play it that often. It was a combination of a few things really. I was away a lot on business, and I also have a tendency to prefer to open a bottle of red wine in the evening rather than sit down at the piano. But I think it would have been around August 2015 when I finally thought, right, enough is enough. I'm now gonna try and put in some serious work and see how far I can get. Remembering that technical wall from all those years ago, I decided that I wasn't gonna make the same mistake twice and that I would need to do some serious research. So I started researching through Google and YouTube all the topics around piano technique, piano playing, tension at the piano, overcoming tension at the piano, anything really that I could find connected to practicing and playing the piano. I also read a few books, I subscribe to a magazine, I regularly read blogs, so I keep trying to find out as much as I can about the subject. Since August 2015, I've probably done about 1,200 hours of practice and not always consistently because of work, but over the last sort of 10, 11 months, I've now settled into a nice routine of getting about 40 hours of practice every month. I decided not to get a teacher. To be honest with you, I found that the amount of contradictory advice that you find on YouTube and elsewhere about what is the correct technique for playing the piano just didn't convince me that any one person really knew the best way to do this. So I thought I'd just try and work through these things myself, try different techniques out, see what worked, see what didn't work, rather than having a teacher who would want to push me down a particular path that maybe wouldn't be the right path for me. The idea for Tommy's Piano Corner actually came to me as I started to read magazines and read blogs 
and realised that there were, in fact, an awful lot of people who, like myself, had stopped playing piano many, many years ago for one reason or another, and then later in life had decided to pick it up again. There is lots of stuff around about children learning the piano. There's also lots around about how adults can learn the piano. However, I found there wasn't that much about for people who were coming back to the piano after having taken a long break. So I thought it would be an interesting thing to put something together aimed basically at people who had come back to the piano after a break. I think to try and explain a little bit about what Tommy's Piano Corner is, is probably to say two things that what Tommy's Piano Corner is not intended to be. First, I'd like to say I don't intend to try and set myself up as an online tutor. There are lots of excellent tutors on YouTube and excellent piano teachers around, and I don't feel qualified to do that. That said, though, I've spent hours researching piano practice and interpretation of different pieces. I've put different pieces of advice together, connected them in different ways and tried to implement them to see how they would work. And I think it'll be interesting to share these ideas with you to see how you find them and if you can use them in your practice. Secondly, I'm not at the level where I would put myself forward as a recording artist. If you want to listen to great versions of your favourite classical pieces, then clearly there are hundreds of recordings from the masters, both past and present, that are available to you on YouTube or iTunes or Spotify, and you can go and enjoy those recordings. However, I have been posting videos for over a year now on my Facebook page, and my friends and family seem to like them. It introduces them quite often to pieces of music that they weren't particularly familiar with before. So I would like to share some of the work that I've been doing so you can see how I've got on with my practice and see for yourself whether things have worked well or not worked quite as well as they could have done. The key thing is uh, videos of me playing are really about sharing the journey rather than the destination. Let's see together how much I can improve over the next few years. And now for something that I definitely do want to do with Tommy's Piano Corner. And that's really to look at piano playing and piano practice in the context of the modern digital world in which we live. I think that we people of un certain âge, as the French so diplomatically put it, quite often miss out in terms of being able to apply what technology makes available to us today. I found, and I continue to find in fact, that things that would have been virtually impossible when I was a teenager without either a lot of experience or an awful lot of money are now relatively simple things to do. And technology can be really useful in practicing and enjoying this great hobby. You'll get three main things from subscribing to Tommy's Piano Corner. The first is some extra ideas of things you might like to try in your own practice based on the research that I've done and the books that I've read. The second is I'll do regular reviews of books and apps and other pieces of technology that I found useful to help get the most out of this great hobby. And finally, you'll get fresh content each week with a detailed post on my blog to go with it. From my perspective, I'm hopeful that you will support and motivate me in the comment sections of my videos with your own ideas of things that I might be able to try to improve. I'd now like to play for you what is currently my favorite piece of music. It's Chopin's Waltz in C sharp minor. I first heard it played by Rubenstein when I was watching a documentary on him on YouTube. And I must admit, it's not a piece I'd ever learned before, so I've actually learned this from scratch since I started relearning the piano. It's not no perfect yet. I still can find places where I want to improve it, where I want to get it smoother. But as I said earlier, I'm sharing these videos more from the point of view of sharing the journey as opposed to sharing the destination.
I hope you enjoyed my version of this lovely piece of music by Chopin. Please subscribe to Tommy's Piano Corner to share this journey with me. Click on the little bell icon so that you get notified of new videos as and when they're released. And please don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.